time you made an appointment to treat your feet right. Come to spot. Kill himself moving like that. What's going on? Oh, not yet. But you will. Thank <laughs> you. 
Stay away. I have this odd feeling like that. Eccolo! There! There! Try to get all his blind sight! Now! Get me the car! Get me the car! Get me the car! Now! On him! Take to the south! This one is cut! I will do whatever you say. You are here. No need to kill me. I'll just go. He's getting away. I see him. There. Can't wait to see your organs gently steaming in the sun. Try to get on his blind side. You let like the others. You'll see.
on his mind, it must be important. Yes, I'll find something by then, I'm sure. Holy for gotcha. What on earth is he up to? Oh, I'll you send you to your grave!
remind me of drunken Deficienti dancing the Saltarello. Let me go! He must have you, Kakasan. Get your hand. There he is, Lajo! The acts of this disgusting criminal cannot be tolerated in a civilized, enlightened society such as you have to show us some of your and tricks, Sio. You. He has performed for the good of A great metal wo- There you go, sir. Bring some new to your hands. I must seek planning permission. Why would anyone carry on like that? to be avoided, and violators will be punished. Against the Serene Republic. Where is Emilio? I told him to be here. You told him yourself? In person? Yes, myself, in person. I'm concerned that you don't trust me. As am I. Perhaps you'll arrive with the others. Walk with me. So, how go things in the palace? Honestly, it's difficult. Rosinigo keeps his circle close. I've tried to lay the groundwork, making suggestions. But he has other voices at his ears. Then you must work hard. You must become part of his inner circle. See, I understand. But it's harder than I expected. And why is that, Carlo? I don't know. He just... Uh, the Doge doesn't like me. I wonder why. It's not my fault. I keep trying to please him. I learn what he craves and I have it delivered. The finest jams from the orchards of Sardinia. The newest fashions from Milano. Yes, and that's called being a sycophant. A what? What did you call me? A doormat. A flatterer. A bootlicker. Need I go on? Bastardo. You don't know what it's like. You don't understand the pressure in there. 
Oh, I don't understand pressure. Official, I'm two steps from the door himself. I am beside him day and night. You wish you could be where I am. Are you done? Hardly. You listen to me now. I am close. The Doge can be recruited to our cause. I'm sure of it. I just... I need a little more time. Time is not a thing we have in Rick's plan. Keep moving. Is it much further? Don't be such a little girl. Buongiorno, cousin. Senor Carlo? We thought Emilio would be with you. Emilio is dead. What? How? The assassin. The same one who hunted down the Pazzi. He's here in Venezia. E così? Silvio, did you not know? He could be anywhere. He could be here right now and we might not even know. He struck Emilio inside his own palazzo. And so? What of our plans? There is no longer time for subtlety, my brothers. We must act now. But Marco, I am so close. A few more days, if I can just... No. It happens this week. We should keep moving. And what does the Spaniard have to say of this change of plan? You can ask him yourself soon enough. He's here? From Roma? I've heard. Agreed. Good. Then perhaps he's made a decision. About what, cousin? About which of us shall step into the robes of the dog, cousin? I didn't know there was a decision to be made. Surely the choice is obvious to all. Obvious indeed. It should be the one they organize the entire operation. The one that came up with the idea of how to save the city. There is no lack of value. For all we know, you may not even choose a barbarigo. <laughs> Why not me? I'm the one who's done all the hard work. Bastard! We wait for his arrival. Are you sure he's coming? Yes! Signore, we should move a little faster. I feel eyes on us. Thank you, Dante. We will move at your pace. This guard's a good find. How much did you pay for him? Perhaps not as much as he deserves. He saved my life on two occasions, though he's not much of a conversationalist. Enough with your inane prattle. The choice of Dojo was never up to any of you, and you were never given permission to make plans. Forgive us, Maestro. We wish only to serve. The planet... The Maestro. Good. Messer Grimaldi, you are closest to Montenegro. You work the most vital. Serve us well, and it won't be forgotten. Walk with me. I don't want any blood spilled, you understand? It must appear to all that he goes quietly. Certo, <laughs> Maestro. When are you closest to him? So be it. Marco, can you furnish us with a suitable toxin on short notice? I defer to my cousin. That is really his area of expertise. Ah, Silvio. I am at your service, Maestro. 
What can you bring to get this done? I will confer with my associates in the streets, but chances are good that I can procure some cantarella. Yes, and what is that? It is a most effective form of arsenic and difficult to trace. Ah, va bene, va bene. Then it's decided. Forgive me, Maestro, but is this not perhaps a tad dangerous for you, involving yourself so intimately with the minutiae of our plans? I feel the need to involve myself more directly. The Pachi disappointed us in Firenze. I pray you will not do the same. Do not worry this time. The Pazzi were a bunch of foolish... The Pazzis were a potent and venerable family, reduced to rubble by one young assassin. Do not underestimate this troublesome foe, who now haunts your city. Or the same fate will befall the Barbarico. I want this done promptly. Bene, I must return to Roma. Time is of the essence. Do not fail us. Idiota sono. I should have kept my eyes on them. I need to go and see Antonio if I have any hope of salvaging this mess I've made. Salute, bello mio. Come stai? You back to see me already? Desolato, mia cara, but I am not here to play. I must speak with Antonio. It's urgent. Antonio! Ezio's here! Ezio, is everything all right? Carlo Grimaldi and the Barbarigo are in league with the one they call the Spaniard. They're going to murder the Doge and replace him with one of their own. They will have all of Venezia, their entire fleet, in their grasp. And they call me a criminal. Then you'll help me. You have me on your side, brother. And the support of all my men. And women. Grazie, amici. But, Ezio, I must warn you. It's not going to be so easy this time. 
Palazzo Ducale is the most heavily guarded building in Venezia. Nothing is impenetrable. <laughs> this is why we like you, Ezio. Come, let's go take a look. We'll come up with a plan. More business with the Doge. Terrible. Though, treachery like this no longer surprises me. When I was a child, we were taught that the nobles were just and kind. I believed it, for my father was only a prophet. My mother a scullery maid. I aspired to be much more. I studied hard. I persevered. But the nobles would never have me. If you are not born one of them, acceptance is impossible. So I ask you, Ezio, who are the new nobles of Venezia? Men like Carlo Grimaldi and Marco Barbarico. No, I say we are thieves and mercenary. Stay back, dog! While we work to save this city and its people, the nobles seek to make it their plaything. Down or I shoot! All right, this way. so carefully. See it from every angle. We just might find a way in. I know of a tall campanile behind the palazzo. Or we might find a way to climb the back of the basilica. Do you have any ideas? I assume the front door is out. <laughs> Va bene. We'll try the front door as well, Saputello. So, what do you think? We're not getting in this way. They'll have time to murder the Doge before we're able to get through all these guards. Look at that. Archers everywhere. And the walls are impossible to climb on this side.
Bene. We're in luck. Looks like there's a perfect path up the scaffolding to the roof of the basilica. Shall we? Ezio, look! Isn't that him? Grimaldi! Don't you understand what I'm offering you, signore? Listen to me, please. Or this will be your last chance. How dare you! I'm sorry. Mi dispiace. I meant nothing by it. I'm only looking out for your safety. We're running out of time. There's no way through this fence, and there are guards everywhere. Diavolo! Follow my lead. It's impossible. There's no way in or out for men. Only birds. Yes. Birds. Where are you going now? To see my friend Leonardo. There's no need to be rude. The incident in San Polo and its like are to be avoided, and violators will be punished. I need your help, Leonardo. Does it work? What? What are you asking? Does it work, Leonardo? Can it really fly? I don't know. It's only a prototype. An idea. It's not ready yet. Have you tried it? No. It's too dangerous. To test it, you'd have to leap off a tower. Who would be mad enough to do a thing like that? Leonardo, I think you just found your madman. So, how does she work? Have you ever watched the bird in flight? It's not about being lighter than air. It's about grace and balance. You must use your body's own weight to control your elevation and direction. Good luck, Ezio. killing myself before I ever kill another Templar. I can't believe it! It worked! It really worked! You flew, Ezio! You flew! See? But not very far. Well, what were you expecting? The machine wasn't designed for distance. All right, look. Let me go over my plans here. Maybe I can find some way to extend the duration of the flight. Ezio, my men tell me Carlo has the poison. We must hurry. 
Antonio, this is Leonardo, the master inventor who built these... pets of merda. Hey, it's not the machine's fault. It's mine. I checked and rechecked my blueprints. It's just impossible. I don't know how to extend the flight. Da, che idea del cazzo! Eureka! Of course! <laughs> Genio! What is he doing now? It rises. It needs fire. Heated air under its wings will lift the machine. Leonardo, what good is one fire going to do? Not one fire, Ezio. A dozen, built all across the city. Enough to carry you from here all the way to the Palazzo Ducale. How? Ah, oh, capisco. My men could do that. But you are forgetting about the guards. Don't worry. I will take care of them. I'll give the order to have my men move in behind you. And hold the locations. They'll light them all up the second the sun goes down over San Marco. Just go. It's not like we're guarding the doge. What the hell are we guarding, anyway? A shipment from China. Some kind of colored powder they brought over for a big party. Really expensive. You ask me. Where these nobles and their money? Eccolo! Filio di Stana! Ah, I may be your papa. Thank <laughs> you. 
I've traditional <laughs> remedies and the wisdom of the army. <laughs> Away, you Berta, he's getting away. I see him dead. Say, isn't there a primo reward for his coyote? You're a bastard. There, on him. There. Shit, I've lost... are welcome here. It's time. You did it. It's beautiful. See. Si. Now let's hope your idea works. Because we're nearly out of time. Listen close, Ezio. You're going to want to fly from fire to fire. 
The eat of each one you pass over should lift you back up in the air again. Bene. Careful, though. There's archers out on the roofs tonight. Avoid those arrows, or it will be a short trip. I wish there was some way I could use my sword while flying these things. <laughs> well, you do have your feet free. If you get close enough without taking an arrow in the head, maybe you could kick them off the building. Nice. It's now or never, amico mio. Shoot! Shoot the flying demon! Makose! Shoot! Shoot the flying demon! Shoot the flying demon! Shoot the flying demon! Shoot! Shoot the flying demon!
don't worry. Probably just kids with firecrackers. Come, it's your move. Listen to me when you have the chance. Seems you have failed, assassin. Forgive me, signore. I tried. Why? What was it all for? Oh. Assassino! Assassino! He's killed the doge! <laughs> ah! It takes one assassin to kill another, it seems. We kill thinking it's best for us. Do we not, Messer Ezio? I do this not for myself. Compio questo sacrificio per il bene superiore. Requiescat in pace. You... You killed me? You killed me?! I is it true? They say you killed the Doge. I was trying to save him, Leonardo. But the truth matters little. I failed. And now I'm the most wanted man in Venezia. Well, perhaps you are in luck. 
It's Carnevale in Venezia. This is the time when everybody goes without a face. That's why I'm here. Aha. This one's quite complex. Hmm. It's a new design, my friend. A mechanism for your wrist, but not a blade. In fact, it seems to be a kind of arma da fuoco, but as small as a hummingbird. Is that possible? I have no idea. Let's build it and find out. You've done me good, brother. Macerto, but I'm sure your return was not just to play with new toys. Is it about this terrible new dodge they've installed? Marco Barbarico. Then you'll want to speak with your friend Antonio. I've seen him quite a bit lately at a, a mutual friend's. I'd look for him there, in the Dorsoduro district, to the south. Ask for Sister Teodora. Sister? Well, um, <clears throat> in a way, yes. Sister, and Ezio, you. you can't be carrying weapons out there today. Grazie, Leonardo. Now, about that mask. sick and wounded. Properly introduced. 
You are a public manners. <laughs> a bit Pleasure, signore. Return any time. Morning! All travelers arriving from the lower Dalmatian Arriving from the Lord Dalmatian Coast. 
devil grows bold. There is something moving over there in that haystack. Sit back down. We're in the middle of playing a tarot game. Oh, no, this time I saw something. I know it. That's what you say every time. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. There was something in the haystack, you feminucha. I'm tired of your jokes. This isn't funny. I could have been killed. By that? You don't take our work seriously. One misstep. One time you turn your back in the wrong direction, and you're dead. Because of rats. I'm not going to explain myself to you anymore. Please, don't stop. This is so entertaining. Let me be. <laughs> Yes, yes, I did. 
think I got away. Leave me alone! I'm being chased! Give him!
Come again, please. Thank you, Altair, for this great gift. May it shield me from my enemies. A pleasure, Messer. Come again. Do you require? Crap. soon.
Antonio, we need to talk. Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Teodora, meet the most uh, <coughs> talented man in all of Venezia. Madonna. Ah, Sister Teodora. I never imagined you as a religious type. <laughs> it depends how you understand religion, my son. It's not just men's souls that call for soothing. Come! Join us, Ezio. Have a drink. Meet the ladies. Ah! Murderer! Butcher! He sliced Lucia and stole so, her money! So, Messer Ezio, let's see just how talented you are. After him! Don't come any closer, or I will carve up another one. Don't make me kill again! I imagine to read Venice of Marco Barbarigo. But really, Ezio, we did this once already. And this new Templar Doge is a bigger culo than the last. Never mind that he never leaves the palazzo. Yes, except for tonight. Marco wouldn't dare miss Carnevale. How do you know this? In fact, he's throwing the biggest party of them all. But getting in won't be so simple. You'll need a golden mask for entry. And before you think about forging one, keep in mind, each mask is numbered. Fortunately for you, I have an idea. Let's see if we can't win you a mask. What is it, my son? You want to ask me something? I do. Forgive me, but why is it you wear a nun's habit if you aren't one? <laughs> Whoever said I wasn't. Indeed. I am married to the Lord. And yet you are also a courtesan. You run a bordello. So? I see no contradiction. How I choose to practice my faith. What I choose to do with my body. These are my choices to make. Like many young women, I was drawn to the church. But grew disillusioned by the believers of the city. Men hold God only as an idea in their heads. Not in the depths of their hearts and bodies. Men must know how to love in order to reach salvation. My girls and I provide that to our congregation. No church would agree with me, I realized. So I created my own. It may not be traditional, but men's hearts grow firmer in my care. Among other things, I'm sure. Signore, signore, come on, come all. The games of Carnevale are about to begin. Do you have the coraggio to compete for as grand a prize as this? This year, like every year, the Golden Mask will provide entry for one, a uno solo, to our most beloved Doge's personal ball. Who would not desire such an exceptional reward? Come, compete. Whoever proves themselves champion in each of four games today shall be the Doge's personal guest tonight. You best get to it, Ezio. Signori, signor, welcome. 
gentlemen, whether you win or lose, this will certainly be your favorite game of the day. Ladies, here's how the game is played. All the ladies in the district have ribbons. Your job is to obtain them. Whoever has the most before my hourglass runs out is one step closer to winning the golden mask. Lovely this afternoon. I trouble you for a ribbon. We have a winner! You have more ribbons than any man here. You proved yourself a favorite of the ladies and are now one step closer to the greatest prize of all time! Benvenuti! Are you ready to test yourselves with a game of speed and endurance? Many challenges lie in your path. The game is simple, but finishing it, near impossible. Start when you're ready. The first contestant to beat the course record is one step closer to the golden mask. You are now one step closer to the grand prize! Right up! Welcome! Welcome! The rules of the game are simple. Outrun your opponents, take the flag from the middle of the field and bring it back to your starting position to score. If the opposition holds the flag, you must knock them down to steal it. 
Be the first to capture the flag three times, and the golden mask may yet be yours. protected your flag and captured the enemies. You've proven yourself a warrior without fear and inch ever closer to victory. <laughs> then right up, benvenute lottatori. The game is simple. There's only one rule, no weapons. Fight until you are the last man left standing. Will it be you or two? Hmm. Who will win the golden mask? Looks like this one thinks himself some kind of campion. Go on, Dante. 
Show him how sadly mistaken he is. I can't be dead. Hey, in pessima forma. Shall we die? Is there nobody else to challenge our man in the ring? Do we have a winner? Ah, uh, we have combatants. So that's how it's going to be, eh? Let go of me! the fleetest of foot, the strongest of champions, the wisest strategist, and clearly a favorite of the ladies. With four games won lealmente, the winner of the Golden Mask is... <laughs> the winner of the Golden Mask is Dante Moro. Congratulations. We'll see you this evening. Sorry, Ezio. We could not have known Silvio would cheat as he did. <laughs> you should have. Sister, you told us to let you know if we saw that rotting Kulo who stole the golden mask. He's on his way to the Doge's party. I will go. I can catch him before he arrives and take back the mask. How? By killing the poor Stronzo? Yes. You know what's at stake. No. If you kill him, they'll cancel the party. And Marco will retreat back into his palazzo. We'll have wasted our time again. Steal the mask instead. Quietly. My girls can help. They're already on their way to the party, all along the route. They can help you distract him while you acquire the mask. Va bene. I can do that. is not measured in coin.
Buonasera, signore. You made it. Marco is on the boat, just up shore. He set to make a speech in a few minutes. Use my girls that I will move with them to stay out of sight. Present to you the beloved Doge of Venezia. Benvenuti! Welcome, my friends, to the grandest social event of the season. At peace or at war, in times of prosperity or paucity, Venezia will always have carnival! They're done. He's not leaving the boat. They will have to swim out there. They wouldn't try it. They'll be spotted right away. Then I'll fight my way out there. Wait! Tonight, we celebrate what makes us great. How bright our lights shine over the world! That's it! Your pistol!
piccolo A true hero. You must be exhausted. Come, relax. Ah, the savior of Venezia. What can I say? Perhaps it was wrong of me to doubt so readily. Now, we'll see where all the pieces fall. Enough of that now. You've worked hard, my son. I feel your tired body in need of comfort and succor. But I have such aches and pains, sister. I may need a great deal of comfort and succor. Oh, that can be arranged. Girls!
Ezio, Ezio. Sir Antonio wishes to speak with you. Grazie for the message. 